Hi everyone, this is Amelia Hendricks, two-star diamond coach with Team Beachbody. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about rocking your power hour. So I have a little presentation that I will share with you. And so I will get to that. Let me do it. Okay, so you can see my screen. So we are just going to go quickly through and we are going to talk about creating your power hour, be your best organized self. So the areas of focus that you want to do is RSVP. And what is RSVP? R is for recruiting, S is for sales, V is for very new, and P is for producers. And I want to tell you that I got this training from Tracy Morrow. Um, and I think it's just a really great way of knowing what areas um, in the Team Beach Body business that you need to focus on. And this really gives you a great way to um, line up your day. Um, for each letter, you want to focus um, 10 minutes of your time to that one task. What if I don't need 10 minutes? then don't waste 10 minutes in a section where it's not needed. Adjust your time to the appropriate amount needed. Set your timer, put your phone on silent, it's very important, um, and go to work. If you get too distracted being online, prepare all of your content offline, then copy and paste. Work from the Face Group and Messengers apps. That's really great to see that's when you're not getting sucked into Facebook. Sticking to a power hour means that you only work within the time given. Once your timer is done, stop, move on, and put the rest for your list tomorrow. Make notes. Track who you talk to about what and their response. Power Hour Breakdown. R is for recruiting. This is the time that you will reach out to um, people about the coach opportunity. Um, check with your HD Shakeology people for the preferred customer discount. Talk with people who have said it's too expensive. Invite people to your next what is coaching event. Um, you know, just get really comfortable with um, talking to people. Have you ever considered doing what I do? S is for sales, and this is probably where you're going to spend the most of your time. Um, this is where you're making new contacts. This is where you're inviting to your challenge groups, finding a need and filling it, customer follow-ups. Um, this can also include posting and checking in with your challengers since, um, you know, they are considered sales since they have, um, you know, their clients that have purchased or, you know, you want to think of an upsale. Are they going to need something from the performance line? Are they going to need um, Shakeology if they only got a program? And so, um, but always thinking of making those contacts, um, making new contacts, talking to people, talking to people, talking to people. V is for very new. This is the time you will spend with your new coaches, builders, and discount alike. This is also where you will spend your time on the discount coaches that are more like the preferred customers. Um, how is their Shakeology? Um, do they want to participate in a challenge group? Uh, do they want to participate in the next coach onboarding? Do they have anyone interested that you can help them talk to? So you're always um, treating them like um, you're still their coach because you are, um, but then you're always giving them the opportunity to continue um, to keep advancing and thinking about working that business. P is for producers. This is the time you will take with the builders on, the, on your team. You want to help them run their own challenge groups. Um, you want to get them into training. You want to help develop them as a leader. Talk to them about their personal development. Talk to them about you know the people on their team and where you can help them focus. What if I really don't have enough to fill the spots? What, I, what do I do with the extra time? This is the time to do the following. Work on images for the week. Don't let images become a time sucker for you. Um, work on blog entries um, and getting those onto your Facebook. Work on scheduling your like page posts. Make videos. Um, do shout outs on personal and team pages for your customer and coaches. Again, if we do the RSVP and we work 10 minutes on those, that's only 40 minutes, which gives us 20 minutes um, to work on a lot of other things. And you might not even t need 10 minutes once you become really efficient at this. Um, so it gives you a lot of time to start working. Like you'll see your schedule will really open up. It's important to remember that you won't reach everyone and accomplish everything in one day. It's a power hour every day. 
not just one hour. So don't think of contacting the entire world in one day and then get frustrated when you can't get it all done. Every Sunday, you need to look at your calendar and schedule this time. You have to do it, just like your workouts. Um, you will only get frustrated by spinning your wheels because you can't make any progress. Don't let tasks, images, Facebook scrolling, etc., that won't add value to your day be allowed to take up all of your time. The most important thing is that you are talking to people, that you are inviting, that you are making new contacts, and that you're checking in with your challengers and coaches. Unless a response requires immediate attention, save it for the next power hour you have. Um, otherwise, you're still beach biting all the time and you've set no defined hours or limits. If you can't devote an hour at one time, then break it down um, the RSVP into different times during the day. Example, do RS in the morning and VP in the evening. Um, the, the power hour does not include the three vital behaviors. Those are something that should be done every day um, on top of this. So you'll see that this is a really good way to kind of set up your power hour, get you going, and I promise it might take a little bit of time to adjust it first, but I promise that once you get used to it, you're going to see that your days run so much smoother and you can pick up on your power hour whenever you get to it. Um, you can, you know, if you have a crazy weekend or you have a few days that you're off, as soon as you sit down and you, you know, you put that timer on and you set your notifications off, you're going to be super efficient at it. And it's just like that. And then you actually see that you're reaching a lot more people. You remember the conversations you've had because you're making notes and a lot more things are going to happen with your business. Thanks for your time.